Hey everyone, so this is a video that is coming from OBS for the first time because it took me forever to figure out how to route all of the necessary pieces um, before I could record a video. I'm trying to make uh, quick videos on within Logic. Uh, routing the audio from Logic into OBS and so a lot of people used to use Soundflower that's what I used to use um, but I've heard I got a new Mac and I heard that on newer OS uh, you know operating systems it doesn't work as well so what I decided to do is look into black hole which is um, software you can get on github by, I believe it's called Existential Audio. And there are a lot of really good videos on how to get it set up. I'm not going to walk through this. And honestly, this, like I said, this video is kind of just a way for me to remember what I did. But once you get Black Hole set up and downloaded and you've set up your aggregate device and your multi-output device, I was going to start recording within OBS and I'm going to drag OBS down right now and I was using the mic like I have a mic it's coming right from my audio interface which is focus right it's a focus right and for whatever reason it was also coming through if you look at this this is I was just messing around I don't have everything nice and organized yet but this is black hole um, being used and if we look at the uh, preferences here the audio being used this is a mic aux audio channel I decided not to use desktop um, perhaps that might work as well but um, I'm using yeah it should black hole 16 channel and what would happen is as soon as I launch logic my mic would be routed from logic through black hole and I was hoping to run some plugins in um, OBS which you can do um, let's see there's a way you can do it settings no oh, over here I believe yes filters so you can run you can actually run VST plugins through OBS and I wanted to do that to get my voice you know compressed and EQ'd or whatever. Um, but what I did realize after reading on Black Hole, some of their information was that because the audio is routing through Logic, you have to kind of treat it as part of your session while you're in Logic. So they directed me to um, make a new aux track. So just make an aux track and just route it you know, from whatever inputs coming in from your interface. And if I would mute this, so I'm going to play that back. See, hopefully I was muted, but, uh, the idea is, is that it actually has to run through a channel here in logic. And so I was able to set up my plugins. So if I turn these off, you can hear the noticeable difference there. Um, and it, it, you know, it has to run through logic. So, and logic is routed. Here's another key point is that logic within the audio preferences. Um, once you've set up that multi output device for black hole, you want to make that your output and your input is your audio interface because that's exact. That's where my mic is coming from. I can monitor through my headphones. Well, that's through black hole, but, um, so it, the output device, this is routed through black hole and focus, right? But the important thing is that you have these separate and you have focus, you have your, um, audio interface as the input device and the multi output device as the output device. All right. Hopefully that was helpful. So once, once again, once I had that all routed, OBS started picking up on the audio, I could add effects of, you know, whatever I wanted here and even if I click on another channel strip because, you know, the, obviously the inputs aren't the same, but if I went over to one that had, let's see, input one, input one and two, because the, this is not selected or right, the input monitoring, it's not going to be showing up there as well. So the, the channel that you set up, as long as you're not recording, I mean, a lot of of us are just looking to do YouTube tutorials or whatever. Um, you want to have that routed through this aux channel, you know, add your effects there make sure input is set to whatever input you're, uh, using for your mic. 
All right, hopefully that was helpful, and uh, this is my first OBS recording, so hopefully that went well. We'll check it out and put it up on YouTube.